Hello everyone, myself Bharatwas. In this video, I will discuss about control valve data integration into the DCS system using art communication. In the previous videos, I already shown you how to fetch art transmitter data using art protocol. In industries, we have so many control valves. These are very helpful to control the process parameters like pressure, temperature, flow, level, etc. Right? So, today I will discuss briefly about this control valve and its components. And then I will show you the DCS programming for this uh, data integration. If you see, these control valves, uh, majority of them are pneumatic based instruments. These need instrument air supply to operate. If you see, this is the line. This is the instrument air. This instrument air is connected to a air filter regulator, AFR. Here we will set the required pressure. And then from the AFR, the instrument air is connected to a valve positioner. So this is the valve positioner. So this is the outlet of the AFR. If you see, this is connected to a valve positioner inlet. So this is our valve positioner and make is made so. And this is the inlet uh, gaze. It will show you the inlet air uh, pressure signal. And when operates, uh, this will show you the, the, top, the top one. It will show you the valve positioner outlet. This valve positioner mainly controls the amount of air supply. Okay. This amount of air supply, this is the outlet. The top one is the outlet. It will go to the actuator. So, this volume positioner receives this 420 milliamp signal from the DCS system and then controls the amount of instrument air supply to the valve actuator and then controls the valve stem position. Nothing but valve open status or valve close status we can maintain as per our requirement. Let's see. So this is our uh, control valve, right? Now I will show you the stem movement with respect to, to the DCS command. Okay. So this is our stem of the same control valve. If you see here, this is the indication, this valve position indication. It is showing here, right? This is the closed status. If it moves upwards, then it will show you this open status. Right now, the valve is in closed condition. Now, what I will do, I will give 100% command from the DCS system. In control valve, the general terminology is 0% uh, to 100% open or closed commands we can give from the DCS system. So here I will give DCS command. Let's see. So the, the DCS command I given 100%. That means I'm sending 20 milliamp signal from the DCS system to this valve positioner. This valve positioner receives this 20 milliamp signal. So this is the valve positioner. The valve positioner operates this uh, control valve by sending the instrument A to the actuator. Okay, if you see here, 
this is the uh, feedback indication. This is it will show you the open status and it will show you the closed status. And this stem is connected to the value positioner. See this one. By measuring this uh, angle, the value positioner uh, uh, identifies the present value feedback status, like let's say 70% opened, 50% opened, whatever it is. Okay. Let's say right now the command is 100% is and there is no uh, error. Okay. Then the value positioner receives 100% uh, open feedback status. See this value positioner, it is connected mechanically, right? So this mechanical movement, the value positioner, it converts into equivalent feedback status. Now, a given 75% command from the DCS system. That means in sending 16 milliamp signal from the DCS system to the value positioner. Then value positioner accordingly regulates the instrument air supply. Then the value status will change accordingly. See, now given 50% and 50% uh, it is there. Now I given again 25% is again see, it reaches 25% you can see the marking here on the this indication status here you can see the uh, respect to position also and now again i will give the zero percentage command again valve is fully closed see like this we control the uh, pneumatic valves so generally we will use uh, one analog input signal and one analog output signal from DCS system, we send 4 to 20 milliamp uh, control signal, okay, or command signal to the control valve. This is analog output. This is must. This signal is very important. Mostly uh, in critical applications, we will consider the, we will take the feedback status from the valve positioner and then we will connect this signal as analog input to the DCS system. Let's say DCS given 50% command signal. Then the value open 50% is. Then the value positioner sends equivalent current signal to the DCS system. Right? So command is one signal, feedback is another signal. In some control valves in a facility, uh, we don't have this feedback status related analog signal module in the value positioner. The value positioner only have one analog input that is 4 to 20 milliamp signal. Remember, the DCS system analog output is analog input to the value positioner. If we talk in term, uh, with respect to, to the DCS system, it is analog output signal. If you talk with respect to, to value positioner, it is analog input to the value positioner. Mostly we will uh, discuss in terms of DCS system only. Okay. So right now, what is the problem for me? The problem is I want the feedback signal in the DCS system, but I don't have the respect to hardware in the value positioner. Okay, the default thing is I have to take via 4 to 20 milliamp signal only. That is the recommended practice. But somehow I don't have that and I don't have any spares also available with me, but I want the feedback status in the DCS system. Again, I will use the same approach. In the previous videos, we've seen that we can take some data using a hot protocol. This value positioner is a hot protocol based uh, instrument. 
That means if I have valid license, software, everything in my DCL system, then I can fetch this feedback status signal into the DCS system using hot protocol. Now I will implement the same approach. I will get this data into the DCS system and then I will do the required configurations. I will meet you in the next video. If you have any questions, discuss with me. You can ask in the comment section. Remember, this short course is for uh, intermediate level persons or the persons who are having some experience in the DCS system. Okay, because I'm not discussing the introduction or basic configuration of a DCS system in this course. This is for intermediate or the persons who are already working and some, having some experience in the DCS systems. I am I'm going to create one uh, introduction course and basic level programming course for the DCS system also. If you complete those courses, then this can understand this course very easily. Uh, do like our videos, share our courses with your colleagues and supporters. Thank you. I will meet you in the next video.